Hello again. This is Math 2231 coming to you from the College of DuPage. And the title of this lecture is Heron's Formula and is associated with a low stakes assessment. As always, please be an attentive learner while watching this video. Heron of Alexandria lived in Alexandria, and that was the site of the great library at Alexandria. He lived about 2,000 years ago, and sometimes he's called Hero of Alexandria, but who he was was an important geometer and worker in mechanics who invented many machines, including a steam turbine. Kind of an amazing guy. Uh, learning more about him might be interesting for some of you wanting to become engineers. His best known mathematical work is the formula for the area of a triangle in terms of the lengths of its sides. We can use Heron's formula to determine the area of a triangle when given the lengths of its sides. And here you see a scalene triangle. All three of these sides are not, none of them are the same length. Uh, and so the formula follows this way. If you let S equal the semi-perimeter, that is add up the length of the sides and divide by two, then the area can be found as exactly the square root of S times S minus A whole times the whole of s minus b times the whole of s minus c. In this low stakes assessment, and it will involve algebra and geometry, and depending on your approach may even involve some trigonometry, it's not necessarily for you to use trigonometry. Uh, it is an excellent review problem and it's not trivial. You do two things for complete credit provide a complete narrative proof why this formula is true, and use this formula to determine the exact area of a triangle with sides uh, given by 9, 8, and 7. Now, on this, take-home protocols will apply. You can get uh, some help, but the work that you turn in must be your own. It is about learning. In closing, now more than ever, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math, it will make you strong. And now more than ever, take care of yourself. Self-care is important and of each other. We're all in this together. May God bless you all.